Can we imagine what the world is going to look like in the year 2121? Can we imagine what our cities will look like in 100 years' time? Will they be livable, wonderful cities that all people get to enjoy? Or will they be dystopian, unlivable cities that people cannot relate to? The project got called Ecotopia 2121. And the project started off small inside a classroom here at the Social Science and Humanities faculties where I asked my master's students the question, okay, can you imagine the perfect, ideal, eco-friendly city of the future for 100 years from now? So the participants involved in the project were required to take an, a series of steps as they go through imagining their city. First, they pick a city, a city that they've visited, a city that they're interested in, anywhere in the world, any city. And then they're asked to imagine how that city would exist in the future, 100 years approximately from now. And then they're required to look at the cultural background, the historical backgrounds, the geographical backgrounds, plus the current environmental problems of that city, and then design solutions to the problems and design that city for the future. And the last step is to put it into some graphic artistic form which helps them present it to the people they want to communicate for. So after doing various classroom activities, I came up with the idea that we would find futures for exactly 100 cities throughout the world. Working with theory and trying to extend that theory into the realm of fantasy and trying to imagine entirely new cities might be theoretical but it's still practical because it's putting into place in people's minds the possibilities we can work towards and maybe some of the visions in the project aren't actually good and nice and friendly to everybody and maybe they work on conflicts between people but that also encourages us to see the problems that we're going to have in the future and to work out solutions to those future problems. Some people see the use of fantasy in predicting the future as unnecessary, but I see fantasy as an important tool in a social studies context because it helps people imagine futures that they would otherwise not consider. It gives their brain dexterity and fluidity to imagine there is a better world that we can possibly create. One of the first cities uh, I looked at was London. So I imagined London 2121. It's a city which was going through, according to the scenario, all sorts of economic problems. The eldest and the youngest of society protest together and start to occupy the middle of London, reconstruct the Tower of London to enclose an eco-village. Uh, many of the cities had what we might call intractable environmental problems. Some cities of the world are probably going to disappear under the waves when global warming. One case was San Diego in California whose suburbs right are on the coastline, right on the beach side. So how did we design for that? Well, maybe in a fantastic way, we imagined San Diego, which is actually the home for the naval submarine fleet of the United States. We imagined repurposing the submarines and using the technology and infrastructure of the US submarine navy 
to make a suburb underwater and to make a community under the sea whereby they use algae biofuels as their main energy source. It's made of family underwater condos built under the sea, able to survive. Part of the reason for the existence of the Ecotopia 2120 project is to encourage environmental awareness and to uh, increase environmental education in the curricula across many types of learning. I think it's important if we're going to get out of the current environmental crisis and we're going to create sustainable cities in the future that environmental education and environmental awareness are taken seriously. I mean science and engineering and social studies and governance are all important uh, tools to make the world a more eco-friendly place. But first of all, you need education and awareness. I know 100 years seems like a long time in the future, but we all know eventually 2121, the year will come around. And I think if we classify ourselves as a moral generation, if we classify ourselves as a progressive generation, we should think about what sort of world we are leaving these descendants of ours. When you think about the future, and if you have a positive view of humanity and a positive view of our own generation, we should consider the legacy of our current society, the way we live in our own cities, and perhaps leave enough resources and leave a green enough planet so that the people of the future can construct the cities in their own image and in, with their own ideas rather than have us destroy the planet so much that they cannot possibly do that. But happily, they have not come yet and we have time, all of us working together, to change things. So it is possible, I think, to have an ecotopian green utopian future.